What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan Muskills and today we're going to be talking about the truth about weapon damage because a lot of people saw my 35k LMG and the first thing they asked me is where can you get a 35k LMG? LMGs don't drop with 35,000 base damage, right? So you're never going to get an LMG that shows 35 base damage, 36, 37 or whatever all these guys are pulling those numbers. That will never happen. That will never happen with any weapon you have. You can put that on. The Nemesis will never drop with that. Um, if we look at the AR, it will never drop with that. So that is something you have to keep in mind, whatever build you have. So say if you had an all green build, highest LMG will drop will be whatever the max damage for LMG is. So if we look at my LMG right here, we have 35.3K, right? So right off the bat, you guys are like, wow, that's an amazing LMG, amazing high damage. But think about this no LMG is going to drop like that. So where am I getting this damage? First off, it has unhinged. So unhinged is already going to give me a bonus of 20% weapon damage on this build. So I already get 20% bonus weapon damage. That's like if my chest piece, what well my chest piece does. That's like if my chest piece had 30% weapon damage just on this and then my LMG didn't have anything. Just an example. So already I have 20% from unhinged, right? On the LMG so that's gonna bump it up on my chest piece I have 10% so that's another 10% weapon damage if you look at my my chest piece is a Petrov so I get another 10% LMG damage right there on top of that if we head over to my gloves that's 11% LMG damage and then if you go to my backpack I have an additional 8.5% LMG damage now that doesn't end everything, right? You can still get LMG in other places. So that's where people have offensive mods. Look at this one, it has 4% LMG damage plus 1.5% weapon damage. So if we look at that alone, right? We, we look at where I have my LMG damage and we head over to my stats. That is where you're gonna see I have 40% all weapon damage that includes unhinged and then I have 40% LMG damage. So I have 80% weapon damage right there, right? So that is where you're getting a lot of your damage from your LMG. So if you're at 40% all weapon damage, 40% LMG damage, and your build isn't around 35K, then you might have an LMG that's not fully maxed out. And that's what you have to check. Because look, I have other LMGs when I put it on. This one only gives me 30K, right? This one gives me 32.5. This one gives me 33.9. So you can see the difference. I think all of them I have unhinged, but look, they can roll at different levels. This black market's at 33.9, and then if I put on the military that I have, it's 35. So they can all roll at different damage levels. It's gonna be based on what you have on. Now, not only that, like some guys are using generic mods, which next week it's gonna be nerfed. Let me see if I can show you one. So if we scroll down, I have no generic mods on this build. So at 35, I'm capped out. So right here, I have two assault rifle ones. So some guys are running the 5% LMG and they put that, they stack that throughout this build. Also, since this is a PVE build, I am running damage to elites on the gloves. Now, you can also put a different talent on there. And I'm gonna show you right now. You could put devastating, so that's gonna give me additional 5% weapon damage. Then, if I really want to, I could put devastating on the holster, and that's gonna give me an additional 5% weapon damage. So just doing that alone, look, I'm just gonna put it on this build because it's not gonna make a difference between the two. So say if I just change the holster and I got additional 5% weapon damage. Now I'm at 36K. 36K, right? Um, let's see, do I have an LNG one? I might lose too much damage if I try to switch to a uh, no, I don't I don't have one that has weapon damage on it. Yeah, there's, there's there's not one that has weapon damage. But yeah, see if I put another 5%, you can see where my LMG could probably push up to 37k base with no generic mods and that's what I'm telling you. That's the big difference between you getting a LMG that's going to show 36k. It's all your build. So, this works for even ARs. So, my AR right here is at 28.2K, right? My Eagle Bear. And if we head over to take a look at the rolls I have on here, it's showing that I have 18.5% all weapon damage and 46% assault rifle damage. And that's because I am running the specialist survivalist. Now, 
if we look at my rolls on my build, I'm still running compensated on here. So there's 15% weapon damage that isn't even being shown on here. You can see if I add devastating there, I already have devastating here. That is where I'm getting a lot of my damage. Fenris gives you 10% assault rifle damage. I have devastating on the holster. I'm running AR damage on the gloves. Plus I have that compensated. That's why it's not showing on the backpack. I am running one generic system mod. So I do have that 5% AR damage right there. What else? On the chest, I have 13.5% weapon damage, and then I'm also running another generic system mod right there. So that's 5% right there. That is how I'm getting 28.2K. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a different build that is built for PVE, so you can see the difference, right? This one might be a better representation of what I can show you how much damage I'm doing. All right, so this has 8.5% weapon damage on the backpack. It has an offensive system mod that's giving me 3% assault rifle, 2% weapon damage. The gloves give me 13.5% weapon damage right there. Make sure I have no mods on. So I do have a generic mod, another additional 5%. I have Fenris for the 10% assault rifle damage. Plus, I don't have, look, okay, so this is built for PvE. So I'm going to just stack straight damage. So that way you can see a little bit better of how it would be. So give me something that has, right, so we're going to put that weapon damage on right there. I'm going to find one that has AR damage and assault rifle right there okay so I think I'm stacked more AR damage so almost 30k now almost 30k and this build let's see right here has 34% all weapon damage and then 40% assault rifle damage so it had a little bit less AR damage than the previous one but it has way more all weapon damage and that puts me at almost 30k so just tweaking your build adding more weapon damage that is where you're getting these builds. But if I didn't have a build like that, say if I just took off everything, let's put something that just has no weapon damage. This one right here, right? This one right here. This one right here. Give me something that doesn't have anything. Crit chain. Okay, this right here. Take off the assault rifle. So take off that. And then I'm going to take off this Fenris piece. And I think I should be good. So right now, I'm at. 15% AR damage, that's because I'm running survivalist, right? And then I have 2.5% all weapon damage. So forgive me because I do have 2.5 all weapon damage. So right here, let, let me take that off. There you go. So we have 0%. If we look at the AR now, 19.7K. So this Eagle Bear with no weapon damage, 15% AR damage because I'm running survivalist is at 19.7K. And it was just at almost 30k. So that's how you guys can tell how weapon damage works. So I felt like a lot of people were struggling with this. They didn't know where I was getting all this damage from, right? They didn't know where I was getting a 30k AR or a 30k Eagle Bear. It's not really your gun itself, right? It's the build itself. And the build is where you're going to improve. So if we go back and we put my reset it, jumps up to almost 28.3k. So that is how you guys get those high weapon damage rolls so when you see somebody who has a 35k base damage lmg almost a 30k ar it's all about the rolls you have like high rolls on the chest high rolls on the backpack because you can get a weapon damage roll i believe it caps out around 16 to 18 percent on the chest i think the backpack is 16 percent i'm not 100 percent sure on that um, and then the glove is 12%, that's for sure. A couple offensive system mod slots that's gonna give you like 6%. So you can start adding that all up. Before you know it, you have a lot of weapon damage plus that AR damage. And that is how you're gonna get those high damage builds like you're seeing here. And you gotta remember, this build is a PVE build. So not only does it have that high damage, it also is running almost 100, well, sorry, 89% damage to elites. So that is just something for you guys to keep in mind. Um, when you guys are looking at these builds where people are running like 47% all weapon damage or 40% LMG damage, you have to make sure that they're doing it. Um, what I recommend is trying to stay away from generic mods since generic mods, I think I have no generic mods on this build. Well, I have, yeah, one. Try to stay away from generic mods because next week they will be nerfed and you can't use them on gold gear and that will help you out. If you guys still have any questions about stuff like this, if you guys want me to explain anything else, 
a little bit more simpler like I did with this right here, I'll be glad to help you guys out. I want to say thank you guys again for all the support. Remember, if you guys are still having trouble finding groups for the raid, check out my Discord. I'll put a link in the description. We have a bunch of members in there that just joined looking for raid groups. So if you're looking to do the raid, check out that Discord. It's called School of Skills. I just want to say thank you guys again. And until the next video, nothing but skills out. Thank you.